Okay, so I'm doing a, a quick video. I'm doing a quick video and I am gonna compare the speed on this 2020 MacBook Air, which I just got. And I'm gonna compare, it's got the Thunderbolt 3 port. I'm gonna pair, compare the speed to from this Samsung T5 drive that I've used a thousand times for a video to this pluggable USB 3, I guess uh, Gen 2. Uh, I'll put in the description exactly which one it is, but it's the newer one. Inside of here is a Samsung Evo 970 uh, Plus. <laughs> and the last thing, and this is, this is aluminum. This is a great enclosure. The last thing is an Evolution uh, Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. It's also made out of aluminum. Inside of here is the Sabrent Rocket one terabyte drive. Oh, and I should say the pluggable over here is USB 3.1 Gen 2. All right, so inside each of these things is an NVMe SSD. And it's one terabyte in this one, one terabyte in this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a file. I'm just gonna copy it. I can run a speed test, but I think it's more appropriate if I don't do that. So first I'm gonna test my good old standard Samsung SSD T5. I've edited a video directly from these for, for years. So I'm gonna, all right, so I'm gonna open the activity monitor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this 65 gigabit file. I'm gonna move it into this SSD. Okay, so first we'll copy it in. Copy it. Uh, paste. Okay, so we can see how fast it's moving right there. So 550, 546, 406. So it's going to take about two minutes. Actually, I can stop it. Now that okay, so let's copy this. Let's paste it to the desktop. And let's see what we got. We're in 238 area. Going from the up back to about 450. So going from the SSD, we're at about 450 either way. So the next thing we're gonna test Pluggable USB 3.1 Gen 2. In there is a Samsung Evo 970 Plus. Let's plug it in. I always thought this was the same speed as the T5 drive, but it's not. All right, so we're going to take this. Let's open this back up over here. We're gonna take this wine cooler file, which again is 65 gigs, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna copy this. Let's paste it into the Samsung SSD. Go. But that's not bad. I'm going to look at it like this. 
this. 829, 836 writing data. Let's rename this to AAAA. So we'll copy this. Now we're going to paste it on the desktop. Ready? Now we'll see the speed of this. All right, so now going from the SSD, from the SSD to the MacBook is 900 and 947. We'll eject this. Okay. Last one. The Sabrent rocket inside inside this enclosure. The SSD uh, the Thunderbolt three enclosure. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> now, actually, this dissipates the heat very well. It does run hot, though. Where's that rocket? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> we're gonna take the wine cooler. 65 gigs. All right, we'll copy this. Let's open this up. And we're gonna paste it to the desktop. Here it goes. Now let's watch. So we got almost two gigs per second, 2.12 gigabytes per second. So that's 2,120. So over two gigs a second. That is screaming fast, screaming fast. You can see the read write speed over here. All right, that was super fast. Okay, we're gonna put it back in now. See how fast it goes. Let's copy that. And we'll paste it in. Let's see what we do. Two, we're also going to two. Over two gigs a second. Twenty seven hundred and twenty seven hundred and twenty eight hundred. I mean, that's fast. Twenty seven, two point seven five, almost three gigs a second. That was fast. All right, so let's get rid of this. Empty the trash. So the rocket is by far, by far the fastest. However, it's the least versus. It's it's not very versatile. If you're looking for just pure speed and you're only going to use it on a MacBook Air or anything within, uh, with the Thunderbolt 3, you're okay. But I typically format these things in EXFAT and use them on multiple computers. And all my computers don't have Thunderbolt 3. So this will not work on my 2015 MacBook Pro. You plug it in, nothing happens. This, however, at 1000 will work on all of them. So I'm actually better off, I can edit from this directly at a thousand. I'm actually better off using this. If I'm just gonna do a project on this, on, the, on this MacBook Air with a Thunderbolt 3, this is it. But again, this you cannot take on a different computer. Just for argument's sake, I have a little, uh, this little micro SD 
that I record videos on. So let's plug it in. You know, you can use that in your GoPro. It records at like 30 megabytes per second or megabits per second. So watch, I'm just gonna take a small file. Let's see how big this is. Get info. This is four gigs. All right, so I'm gonna copy this. And then we'll paste it to the desktop. We'll see how fast it runs. So this goes under 100 megabits per second. 95, 95. Okay, so we'll copy this. Put it back in. Put it back in there on the disk there. Let's see how fast it goes. Same thing, about 90 megabits per second. All right, anyway, I don't have to run this whole thing. Thunderbolt 3, blazing fast. You can only use it on a computer with Thunderbolt 3, only. Not backwards compatible with USB-C, uh, USB, whatever it is, C 3.1 Gen 2. 3.1 Gen 2 can be used on a Thunderbolt port, can also be used on a, on anything. I mean, I can use this on my PC that has a USB-C. Actually, I can use it on a USB-A connector. It'll be slower than this, but I can plug this into a USB-A port. I can plug this into my old MacBook Pro and it'll run pretty fast. So this is the most versatile, even though it's whatever it was, 850, 900. And this is fast enough for me, but it's slow by comparison to these two. This is probably the most reliable though. These things are great. So that's it, Le less, least amount of heat. These two things generate a ton of heat. And, the and this is much cheaper. This, you could buy a, a two terabyte one of these for a couple hundred bucks these days. And the one terabyte uh, Sabrent was 150. Actually, it's not that much. 150 for the Sabrent, one terabyte, and then maybe another 100 for the enclosure. So about 250 all in for this. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching.